The sixth eruption in the Swatsengi volcanic system is so different from the others. It is started with a big bang and we have several views of that. We could see when it is coming through the uh, tremors charts and the earthquakes models that we have showing the depth and the location. It was very northerly, unlike the previous eruption, which was between Blue Lagoon and Green Lagoon. This one was the north of the Blue Lagoon. It has spread uh, slightly to the south, but then that pathway was closed, the fissure uh, closed, and then moved toward the north. And this is where it is erupting at the moment. You can see in this diagram uh, how it is doing. And uh, the Norway location of this eruption was close to the plate boundary. This is the analysis that uh, I published previously, as you can see that this is on the very old, 2,000-year-old uh, fissure of the Swartzengi, which is now reactivated through this eruption. We can see the plate boundary here and the location toward the north of the Storrs Cockfell. And the eruption can vary. We have very tall uh, fountains and jets of lava, almost a Strombolian or you can say Hawaiian style in that sense. The height of this we can calculate by the measuring the freefall time. Six seconds is the highest I've measured, 176 meters. But it dwindles. It shows that the conduit is getting closed or open, narrowed down or opened up. When the magma comes, when the lava comes, it can erode actually the conduit. And sometimes it make it wider, so you have a bigger fountain. Sometimes it make it narrower, so you have a smaller one. That's like a tap, practically. And this is again, in this model, you can see the representation. The uplift of the land was a strange in all the past six eruptions. Before the eruption, we had the contraction of the Green Lubbock Rift Valley, the name I've given to that area. And this is what we don't expect. We expect the extension. This is the transform fault extending the, uh, transferring the movement through the earthquakes, pulling a part of the Eurasia and Americas. But well, what we see here is a contraction. Contraction can be due to something that I interpret as the extension of the uh, magma reservoir and practically like a um, prostate gland pushing against the rift valley and moving it. Prostate glands, you know that it can actually uh, block the urinary tract and this bladder-like reserve magma reservoir acts in a similar way this is my interpretation of this and uh, it seems that contraction that we are seeing and is uh, getting narrow the of, of the narrowing down of the rift valley is due to this effect when the eruption happens it goes back to normal and this is the muzzle that the University of Iceland, including Professor Thorvaldson, have released. You can see that I have put the uh, actual the wording of what they have said at the end of this video. Also, the diagram I've animated it for you. You can see that uh, I've also corrected the E one is uh, well, written against C on that one. I corrected it for you. And anyway, the, the, the date was also wrong. 7th of August. This is 27th of August. Uh, I didn't put that 7th one. That was the wrong one. The 27th one at the end of that uh, message and the uh, writing is correct one. Watch that.